good care of it. Learn more at AtlanticHealth.org slash valve or call 888-488-DOCS. Forestown Medical Center, part of Atlantic Health System. The station you know, the people you trust, tend and win. The huge watch never stops. This is 1010 Wins. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the word. Good morning, 68 degrees at 720 on this Saturday, September 3rd. I'm Kathy Marshall, and here's what's happening. Just waiting for her beat. Tropical storm warning up for Jersey Coast. Watch elsewhere, not back you with her on the way. Deadly gunfire in AC. Atlantic City police officer wounded, suspect killed in a shooting outside Caesars. First in the Bronx, the Bruckner still shut down northbound at Pelham Parkway. There was a car fire. Traffic is barely moving. And uh, those delays start by about Castle Hill Avenue. And also those delays now spilling onto the eastbound Cross Bronx as well. Meanwhile, in Brooklyn, we have that accident on the Gowanus westbound right near exit 22. We have at least two lanes closed, but it looks like traffic is getting by in at least one lane at the moment. Eastbound Gowanus dealing with rubbernecking delays. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Looks like we're moving pretty well at all our, our Hudson and East River crossings in both directions. But expect delays after the tolls on the Bronx-bound Throgs Neck Bridge because of that closure on the Bruckner. Alternate side parking rules in effect today. I'm Donna Vaughn. Our next report at 731 on 1010 Winds. The Ford Freedom sales event is on. For a limited time, enjoy great financing and low lease offers. Hurry to your local Ford dealer for more info. Wednesday, 722. Here comes Hermine. The storm has landfall in Florida and is heading up the East Coast. Let's get the latest live with AccuWeather meteorologist Brian Thompson. Yeah, hey, the storm, Kathleen, is uh, starting to move off of the North Carolina coast, and we expect it to intensify a little bit uh, as it encounters some of the warmer waters up in the North Carolina coast. But uh, as it continues to drift off of the east, we're going to eventually pick up some some rough surf and rip currents of beaches. Outside of that, no real rain or wind to contend with today. Tomorrow is when we'll start to see some of that, especially during the afternoon and into tomorrow night. The worst effects will be along the coast. We're expecting wind gusts past 50 miles per hour at times. And the biggest concern, I think, is going to be the coastal flooding. We're going to have several rounds of high tide coming in while we're still seeing the storm surge around the storm system as it's going to come to kind of a stop here. And uh, that will be a concern tomorrow and into Monday, perhaps even into early Tuesday as well. Kathleen? AccuWeather meteorologist Brian Thompson. Now the region is getting ready. As Hermine moves north, it's expected to linger off the coastline for a few days. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio said that's a problem for low-lying coastal areas. Expect in coastal areas flooding, heavy rain, strong winds. While New York and New Jersey will see rainfall on Sunday, the bigger concern is ocean conditions. The number one concern in terms of safety is rip tides right now. And I want people to understand this is a very unusual situation. New York's beaches will be closed to swimming starting on Sunday. Steve Kastenbaum, New York. New Jersey communities are preparing, too, with the possibility of flooding along the coast and people visiting us the shore, like St. Stacy, Santa Cola, are nervous. My parents uh, suffered a bit through Sandy, and, um, you know, and so did a lot of neighbors, and uh, they're, um, you know, they're, they're scared that it could be like another repeat of that. The storm has already killed one person, a homeless man struck by a tree in Florida. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost power, and those numbers are expected to rise. Of course, stay with 1010 Winds and 1010winds.com for the latest on her means. What did you say? 724. A gun battle outside the Caesars Casino in Atlantic City has left one person dead, and an Atlantic City police officer in critical condition. Two other suspects still on the run. It all happened this morning, according to police chief Henry White. I don't know what the reason for the initial stop was, but as the officers were getting out of the car, Police and dogs are searching the area for the two suspects who got away. 
There's now a $10,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person who stabbed an NYPD officer's aunt to death in Queens. Nazma Kanam's funeral was held yesterday afternoon at the Jamaica Muslim Center. Her son, Nam Naimul Alam Khan, told CBS 2 News he doesn't understand what happened. Yeah, very Whether it's offering the newest releases 